Brian here. I've decided today we're not going to DJ, we're going to play with cars instead. Ah, I'm just kidding. We're going to do uh, 102 for uh, mixing for the mobile DJ, very uh, beginner's guide here. Okay, now DJ Tudor did an analogy with cars when it came to beat mixing, and it went something like this. Uh, if you got two cars going 100 miles an hour, okay, and uh, they're not going to line up unless this car speeds up to like 105 miles an hour or this car slows down to 95 miles an hour and then speeds back up to 100. Okay? It's the only way they're going to line back up. Now when you're phasing, it's kind of the same thing. Everybody's going the same speed. Let's assume these are identical cars. They're not, but let's assume they are. Okay? One goes a little faster than the other, but they're still next to each other, okay? That's the phase that we were doing on Lesson 101. Now, as soon as the bumpers separate, we're not in the phase anymore. It doesn't sound right, okay? This car's either got to slow down, or this car's got to speed up, and then go back to the regular speed to stay next to each other and stay in, or, uh, you know, very little bit here to stay in the phase. Now, let's have a race with these cars, shall we? This is a two-lap race. It's called Row, Row, Row Your Boat, and this is how it works. Okay, you gotta go around the lap. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the stream. Oh, they had a car accident. Okay, now, this car's one lap ahead. This car's next lap is gonna be merrily, 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 life is but a dream. This car hasn't even done the row, row, row your boat yet. Okay, so if they go around at the same time, okay, one at row, row, row your boat, gently down the stream, and another one at merrily, 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 life is but a dream, it's kind of like seeing it around. Okay, that's lesson 102. We're going to do it with the CD players right now. I'm going to show you how. Now it's time for a little row, row, row your boat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start this song off. And uh, as soon as I get to the first verse, I'm going to find the first beat of the first verse. I'm going to cue my song right there. Okay, you may have to dip into your owner's manual to figure out how to do a cue. This is how you do it on the den, and I'll show you. Here it comes. Next, here we go. Right there, okay? I press pause and then I hit play again. Okay, that's the cue. Now what I can do is I can trim it on the den in here. I don't know how you do it on yours. Like I said, you may have to check your owner's manual. In cue mode, once you've got the song kind of cued, you can trim it. So as soon as I hear the first little beat there, that's my cue point. Perfect cue point on my trim. Okay, so now when I press play from now on, cue, it's always going to go back to that point. Okay, now let's start this song off, okay? Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to bring in this point later on in the song. The row, row, row your boat uh, theory is going to be in play here. This is 4-4 four, four time dance music, okay? Four beats, four measures. Give it a listen for a minute. And we can press play on the one whenever we want to. And we should be around. Wanna do it right now? Let's do it right now. There we are. The row, row, row your boat method. I don't know what it's really called. We're gonna call it that. I'm sure somebody will correct me. Now what you can do is play with your crossfader a little bit too. Here we 
we are. We can go over deck two. We can re -cue this and do it again if we want. Ready? On the one. Now, if your song has a constant beat, you can even do a little phase in there too. It's not as obvious as it is when you do them at the same time, but it's still there. And there you have it, 102, the row, row, row your boat method of beat mixing with the same song. If you want a part three, leave me good comments and good ratings and you'll get it, I promise. Practice and enjoy.